This is Gene Key, KDD News. An 18-year-old Dumas man suffered critical injuries when the four-wheeler he was riding near the Canadian River overturned Sunday afternoon, the Potter County Sheriff's Office said. About 2.55 p.m., the unidentified man was riding the vehicle somewhere west of the Canadian River Bridge when he struck a bump and the vehicle flipped over on him. His friends loaded the injured man in the back of a pickup and transported him to the bridge where they met emergency personnel. A Lifestar helicopter crew transported the man to Northwest Texas Hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. His condition has not been released. MyHighPlains.com reported Sunday evening around 6, a DPS cop was working patrol in Carson County on Interstate 40, stopped an SUV one mile east of Conway. The driver, Michael Coatney, was traveling east on Interstate 40 when he was pulled over. During the stop, Coatney allowed the search of his SUV. DPS reportedly found 150 pounds of marijuana, valued around $325,000, and a small amount of cocaine. The drugs were found inside of luggage located inside the vehicle. According to DPS, the drugs were being transported from Los Angeles, California to Charlotte, North Carolina. Investigators say a two-vehicle wreck in southeast Texas has killed three teenagers and left another person hurt. NewsChannel10.com reported the Department of Public Safety says the accident happened early Sunday on Highway 62 in Orange County. All three youths from Orange who died were in a southbound car that investigators say crossed the center line, striking an SUV. DPS says the car's driver, Gray C. Smith, and passenger Derek Brantley were dead at the scene. Both were 17. Authorities say 16-year-old passenger Jacob Lloyd Bates died later at a hospital. The driver of the SUV, 30-year-old Clinton Merrick Lloyd of Orange, suffered a broken leg. Investigators are trying to determine the cause of the crash. DPS also say the teens were not wearing seatbelts. This is Gene Key, KDD news.